Hello and welcome to this session in which we will discuss the stages of a cyber attack. In the digital age, the threat of cyber attacks looms over both small, large organization, organization of medium size and various industries. So as a cybersecurity professional, and specifically for our purpose, for the CPA exam, we need to understand the stages of the cyber attack. Understanding the framework of this attack is important to do what? To craft a strategy, a counter offensive strategy or a defensive strategy to protect your sensitive data and maintain integrity of the IT system. So you have to understand what stages, what step, what do they do in step one, what do they do in step three, step four. So you might want to stop them at step one or step two or step three. Understanding those steps are important because cyber attacks are not random or impulsive act. They need planning they need execution they need proper planning and proper execution and each stage they have a different objective and techniques so understanding those objectives and techniques will help us cybersecurity professionals not us i'm not a cybersecurity professional will help you understand how to answer these questions on the cpa exam so you're going to start with an initial reconnaissance step where attackers gather information then you're gonna gain access, then they're gonna escalate their privileges, they're gonna maintain presence, they're gonna exploit the network, and finally cover their tracks. And in this session, we would look at each step briefly and give you an example, just to give you a feeling, what are the stages, the steps in cyber attacks. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, farhatlectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. So the first step is the reconnaissance. What is that? The attackers start by gathering information about the target. And let's assume we're looking at a company called Global Pack. This is the company that we are targeting. There are many methods that you can gather information. They use various techniques, such as the, their public website. They could look through social media for employee information. They could use tools to map out the network infrastructure for that company. And let's assume for the sake of illustration, they discover that Global Tech uses specific customer relationship management software known for its vulnerabilities and identify potential target within the company through a LinkedIn, such as an IT staff and executives. So they know they're using this vulnerable CRM and they know all what they need to know now is one person or one individual then they can get through them to that CRM. What they do, they would look on LinkedIn who works at this company and their IT staff or some sort of an executive and they will study their profile. The next step is to gaining access. So using the vulnerability found in the CRM, the attack the, in the CRM software, the attackers craft a phishing email targeting the identified employees. Well, if it, you just start with different employees, how did you learn about these employees? Well, eh, through their LinkedIn account. You know what position, their history, and maybe you'd look at their social media, if they have an Instagram, Facebook, to learn about their activities. But the email will contain malicious link, but the email would look friendly, would look professional for assuming or asking that you need a critical update for the software. Once the employee, once one of these targets employee, click on the link and attempt the update, the malware is installed on the system given the attacker the initial access. So first you determine who you're going to go through. Then you will gain access through maybe a phishing email to the global tech network. Once you gain access, one, once your foothold is established, now the attacker would do what? The attacker exploit the system vulnerabilities to do what? To gain more privilege, to escalate their privilege. They discovered the credential of a network administrator, maybe by developing a keylogger on the infected machine. So now they want more privilege. Maybe this IT, IT staff gives us access, but we, need, we want more privilege. This allows them to gain higher level access equivalent to that IT staff or higher, enabling broader control over the 
global PAC system. So third step is to escalate your privilege so you have more access. Then you want to maintain your access. At this stage, the attacker would install additional malicious software to create a backdoor into the system, making sure they can return at any time, even if the initial entry point is discovered. Here you'd say, you know what, I'm in. Let me create another door in case my initial penetration method was discovered. So they might use a backdoor to explore the network quietly, ident identifying valuable data repositories and further embedding themselves into the system without detection. Then the next step is to start to steal the data. Now, now with broad access, the attackers proceed to their primary goal, data exfiltration, basically stealing the data. They identify and access several databases containing sensitive intellectual property and customer information. Then this data is quietly packaged and transmitted to an external server attacked by, controlled by the attacker. Also, they deploy ransomware across the network, encrypting critical file to disrupt operation and demand payment. So in addition to that, after you steal the data, they may kind of, you know, place a ransomware asking for more money. And the last step is they cover their tracks. And as the data is, is exfiltrated, it's done, and the ransomware began to take effect, the attackers wa work to conceal their action. They clear logs that could indicate their presence, modify system registry file to hide the malware, and delete any tools they used that are no longer necessary. This will make it challenging for the global tech IT department to understand how the breach occurred and assess the full extent of the damage. So those are the steps in a cyber attack. And as a CPA candidate, you wanna be familiar with them. Why? Because you have to answer multiple choice questions. Let's take a look at this multiple choice question from farhatlectures.com. In the contact of context of cybersecurity, what's the primary goal during the network exploitation and exfiltration phase? So what's, what do you do at this stage? Do you map out the, ne the network topology? Do you steal sensitive data? Do you gain initial access? Do you install malware? Well, at the network exploitation, at this point, you gained access, you installed, already installed the mal malware. You're not interested in their network topology. You, you're already in. At this stage, you are going to steal the data. So at this stage, you would steal sensitive data because the mapping is part of the reconnaissance, you know, what, the, what their network looks like. You're already in, you don't need to do this anymore. You would steal the data and uh, that's your goal and maybe also install a ransomware. What should you do? You wanna go to Farhat Lectures, look at additional MCQs. That's gonna help you do what? Practice, 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 practice for the CPA exam. That's the, that's the key point, that's the, that, that's the purpose of the CPA exam, is to do what? Is to practice and be ready. Invest in yourself. Good luck, study hard, and of course, stay safe.